Hello, welcome to my tutorials corner. This is Abhi and you are watching part 12 of WP of tutorials video series. In this video, we will learn the combo box control in WPF. The combo box control is similar to the list box control, but it has some differences like it hides all the elements inside it except the selected item. This is a combination of a non-editable text box and a drop down. The combo box control also provides the each editable property. We'll talk about that later. So as it hides the elements due to this feature, it takes less space than the list box control. If you don't know about the list box control, please watch part 11 before proceeding. So on the screen, you can see there is a simple combo box. I am going to demonstrate this with an example. Let's go ahead and open the Visual Studio. Now to create the combo box, the syntax is combo box. Let's write that. Now in the right pane, you can see there is a box here. I'm going to fix its height to 30 and width to 200 so now you can see there is a combo box till now we have not provided the combo box item so to create the combo box item the syntax is combo box item now let's put some text inside that like uh, combo box item one Let's copy that and paste two times. Let's change this to two and three. Okay, that's fine. Let's run this code. So this would display the simple combo box on the screen. You can see there is a combo box which we have just created. So apart from this, as we know that list box control and combo box control, both are the content controls. So this property provides us a way through which we can customize the combo box. So I want to create a combo box like this. It will have a rectangle which should display the color and next to it I want to place the color name so to create that let's get rid of this code let's create the combo box item and inside that I am going to put the stack panel okay now I will set the orientation property of the stack panel to horizontal. So this will align the controls in horizontal order. Now let's put a rectangle inside that and fill it with red color. and let's define its height to 20 and width to 20 okay now give it a margin 0 from the left 0 from the top and maybe 10 from the right and 0 from the bottom so this will create a simple rectangle and next to it, I, wa I want to put the color name. So to put a color name, I'm going to create a text block. And inside that, I'm going to put the color name. We have created the first combo box item. Now, we have to create these three items. So I'm going to simply copy this code and I will paste this two, two times. 
let's make it green and then blue let's make it green and write this to green blue and blue. let's go ahead and run this code so as you can see by using the content we can create our own custom designs for the combo box control the combo box control also provides a is editable property is editable property can be used in case when there is no such item exist in the list which user wants like suppose uh, we have a registration screen and user has to enter his country name but inside the combo box there is no such country name from where the user belongs so in that case user cannot enter his country name to overcome from all these kind of situations we can use the is editable property this should enable the combo box so you can write your own text inside that let's look at this with an example create the combo box item and write the like I want to create these three cities and I want to make this combo box as is editable so let's go ahead and write it New York and London and Newcastle let's copy this code and paste it let's change this to London and this to New Castle let's make this combo box to is editable is editable set it to true let's go ahead and run this code you can see the cities here you can simply select that and suppose if there is no such city exist which user wants we can simply write that and this will be determined as the entered city so in this way you can create the combo box control in WPF so that's it from this video tutorial please subscribe comment let me know your suggestions thanks for watching have a great day